Good morning, everybody. And how are you doing this morning in here? Now, last night, we were expecting a little bit of correction that we seen on the Dow Jones. But definitely, we did not see that. And the market did rebound back and close pretty high, almost 400 points. Now, what is happening on the KLCI, you can see also very similar. Our market is rebounding higher, driven by the tech sector. That's right, the technology sectors had done pretty well and we will review some of those stocks that we have picked since 23rd of December. That's right. So since, since 23rd of December, some of those stocks has been in and if you have any stocks that you want me to review, just type it in there and I will definitely look at it and some of the stocks that you have and definitely for sure, just to give you a bit of comment what's happening tonight too. Tonight we are doing our live at BDOC at 9.30. So something very exciting about President Biden and also today, which is also timely, one of the interview that was done by the uh, Malaysian Reserve Business Journalist, Miss Priya, uh, is already debuted today. They interviewed with me on the Malaysian business and this is with regard to the renewable energy sectors in Malaysia. So we're going to be taking a look at that one too. All right, some of you want me to look at public bank uh, uh, stocks, that's great. And uh, do share this uh, this uh, video in your timeline so more people can benefit through. Now let's move on to what I have for you in the headline, that's for sure. Now today, of course, our breakfast show is intermediate. So what does intermediate mean? Means we were going to be looking at the trending stock list which charts usually going up like that that's the one we ought to be trending and it's intermediate level so we are going to be like you know getting into something a bit more faster pace like those stocks we talk about in here and also looking at the chart setup with trading view in here and the new sentiment definitely you can see on the right hand side let me just pop it up again uh, this morning you can see uh, where are we this morning this morning we are up eight points we are just short of 10 points at 1600, which is 1589. Now, this 1600 seems to be that elusive resistance that we need to break through. Now, again, having said that, the COVID cases, and we all know, right, the MCO has been extended past Chinese New Year. Now, uh, so this year, not much of a traveling, definitely for me and my family. So what can we do? Probably just, you know, watch more TV, you know, for the next two weeks or so. Uh, having said that, yesterday closing here was pretty good. We are up 14 points to 1580. And this morning, we are up eight points. Uh, no doubt, uh, market continued to be uh, bearish. Let me just pop it up in there. You could see on just top of you in here, the charts, right, is still in the orange trends and still red. Now you may say, hey Martin, you know, you know, all this bullishness is, you know, supposed to be good. Then why shouldn't we buy? But fact is, Pentagon, mathematics calculated by um, Robbie here, you can see it is still in the downtrend cycle in here. And the last high that we have up there, you notice that up trust, right? That up trust there seems to be the 1630 level. In, in, in many ways, we are sort of trending down. We have to wait for a little bit of accumulation before we see that up move. Of course, sectors like the tech sub sectors, like the, uh, the solar, uh, solar uh, SV, they call it the, the uh, solar photo, photo void, or the renewables energy sector seems to be doing well. Uh, definitely, we will look at one of the renewable energy stocks, which is one of the trending stocks today in here. So having said that, you can see right now, the chart is still trending down. So if you are following, our Pentagon Guider, uh, uh, Pentagon Guider portfolio simulation, then definitely you will notice we are still holding out from entering the market. All right. So having said that, let's move on to our headlines that we have for you this morning. That's right. Now this morning we have Busa Malaysia, our stock exchange posting record earning for 2020. Let's take a look at Busa. So usually when we see on good news, we will get what? Uh, weaknesses, right? Because smart money are distributing. So you can see on top of here, uh, you do have this very climatic volume and always a standard one. Uh, when climatic volume that you have, it's maybe time to take some profit. That's for sure. You can see on top of me in here, the climatic volume that you have, you have up trust. And this morning should be still up. Let's take a look at it on Busa, right? Now, very important audience in here. It's very, it's important to know on Unconfirmed news, 
news that is not uh, so called we don't know about yet we have to read the price and the volume that's the one that we are interested to look at and to buy by the time it is already confirmed like what we say new uh, product like asset pack securities uh, securities and tokenized asset to be frank with you, I'm also not too sure what they meant by that, but I have to see by the time they roll it out. Now, no doubt, Busa did roll out a few ETF as gained some traction in here, but more promotion need to be done. At the, at the end of the day, it's all about volume. But what definitely has gained the attention of the Busa or the recent Busa bet, that's the one which is still propping up that top glove. Let's take a look at this morning whether top glove are Jalan or not, because last night, the GameStop, the Reddit army in the Wall Street, lost steam that's right they have lost steam and guess what game stock fell by 60 percent or 30 percent i haven't checked that yet uh i i do know they're back to where it is even silver which was reddit was intending to do that they has also come down too so let's take a top glove this morning in here and you have livestock prices and it is down minus 1.7 percent so you know you have up two days up that will also be the uh, likely trend going to friday for all the rubber glove maker having said that there is also another piece of news which i will cover later on now the next news talk about malaysian high carbon dependency which talks about the gdp relying on oil and gas metal and mineral as well as uh, palm oil. So it's important to transition into uh, less renewable. So this itself, it's an important agenda for Malaysia to travel the road of renewable energy. As you can see, uh, the next article, I will talk about it because you can see uh, Tengaga National in here with 60% uh, power generation based on coal and foreign. So do take note, Malaysia has a, has a, a bite or agreed to the Paris 2015 Paris Agreement. Now remember, that is not an obligation. It is one to follow only. You can follow or don't follow, also never mind. But just that you kowtow to it, then what they do is in the Paris Accord, which is they're supposed to meet COP21, which is supposed to meet last year because of the coronavirus pandemic, they did not meet. And usually on those meet, everybody bring out their report card in terms of the renewable energies and say how well and how far they have progressed. Definitely Malaysia in here, a big agenda to do this is to go to the renewable energy sectors. And right now, it's already proven that we, Malaysia, are highly dependent on carbon. <laughs> All right. So the next article is something uh, uh, which uh, there was an interview, as I said before, from the Malaysian Reserve by Ms. Pryor asking me about my outlook on renewable energy. And early on, on the 23rd of November, on the live FB, I did cover that initially. And since then, uh, st stocks like SolarWare, Samadian, uh, CY Park, uh, MSB has certainly moved higher up now in here. Now the question is, is this time to buy some more of this solar energy? Definitely for sure, the valuation for all these solar energies and related sectors are very pricey. You can look at it. Let's take a look at it on top. SL West, and how do I know that? You hit SL West, and just on top of in here, you can click uh, Stock Fundamental, okay? And you can see, Look at that one. The PE is 87 times. 87 times and ROE of 13 times. So that, so that tells you, even Roby says that SL West is overvalued. And the same goes for all these growth sectors like Inari and so forth. Definitely the fundamental does not justify with it. But let me ask you one question. Where is the growth for 2021? If not for Biden, where is the possibility of some growth? Definitely the technologies and the 5G, we all know about it, which continue to sustain. And right after the couple of slides from here, we will talk about all those tech sectors like Inari, Great Tech, UWC, uh, PIE, and so forth and so forth. So where is it? Is this the next chapter of thing? Now, we all know the rubber glove, which I did make a comment on this. Somehow, there are sector rotationally. People who made money, of course, the smart one, would have rotated they are money out, the profit from the rubber glove and this solar right now. I do believe going forward, I would be talking more about this. But remember, I first started talking about this on the 23rd of November last year, as soon as Biden won. I know that when Biden win, 
likely the world will point towards the renewable energy. And you all know we have the California Fire 2020. We have also the Australian Fire 2019 2020. This year, I asked my friend in Australia, my good coach friend, uh, Sui Lo, how's the weather holding up? They say in Sydney and Melbourne, it's getting warm. So far, no fire. Touch wood. Let's not have another incident like that. So all these kind of news are really propping up why it is important to have the uh, what we call the climate change agenda, agenda in there. Right now, you can see the uh, oil and gas player like uh, Petronas may have tough time uh, looking there and that's why the earlier article talks about the high dependent on carbon which Malaysia need to turn, turn, turn to renewable energy. Okay, now uh, next um, piece is on Malaysia GDP growth that we need to achieve 6.5 which has been going on on and on since last year that it is important from the Ministry of Finance to continue that we need to hit this but bear in mind with this recent MCO 2.0 and many of the B40 are getting difficulty even jobs we all know that we all acknowledge that so it will be uh, definitely a challenge going ahead definitely a boost will be the vaccine so we can see even private companies like Pharma Niaga are all getting into it Bintang Kindle uh, what's, what's more some of those uh, you can see everyone is getting into the COVID either they are buying from the Russian Snoop, uh, Stupik no Stupnik Stupnik Five, not stupid, uh, Sydney, which according to Lancer Journal, which have a 91% uh, uh, efficiency. Well, that's very, very, you know, very, very good. You know, I'm yet to be seen uh, uh, when they bring it over in Malaysia and they're going to do some sort of testing. Of course, you have the Sinopharma coming in, but bear in mind the vaccine is important to the recovery of Malaysia. So again, on the technology stock, we have great tech, EV, 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 electric vehicle, right? So this is about a news. They are going to develop electric uh, battery packs. So again, check it out on great tech. Let's take a look at great tech right now. G-E-R-A-T-E-C. Hit that one. And you can see on top, you want to see the stock price, whether this news this morning would push up great tech. Okay, then we have great tech here. Uh, this morning, great tech, oh, up 11%. That's right. On this uh, certainly news have pushed up by 11% crazy isn't it all these tech stocks you can see Pentao all moving in people who have bought great tech are laughing their way uh, earlier on when one of the analysts very good analysts on UOB talk about great tech they are laughing their way to the bank <laughs> isn't it of course your next question is should I buy in or should I take profit again go back to what is uh, on smart Roby. okay now what is smart Roby? if you have it look at the exit strategy in here and you can see exit at six dollars six forty two and uh, yeah it's uh, very close to it to TP2 okay or you can exit at the next red pentagon if you want to run your profit all right let's move on to the next one pharma Niagara, which i've talked about vaccine just important that the good news but however a lot of good news has already been priced in pharma Niagara. let's look at pharma Niagara on the chart wise you can see here okay let me just bring up pharma Niagara. now i want the audience to take note huh? it's important when you see good news don't think to buy okay ah Think, look, always look at the chart. So you can see here, just use Smart Robbie to look at the chart. You will definitely know that. All right, great. Some of you guys are already putting some stocks. You want me to take a look? I definitely look. So you can look at Pharma Niaga. You can see, no doubt it is on top of me, my head here. You can see just on top of me here. These stocks are turning blue trend zone, but the price is hitting the support just slightly above $4.80 in here and I think this morning with this new will we do same thing like great tech haha <laughs> let's take a look let's hit the livestock prices in here with a slight delay it's up 0.8 what does that tell you? that tell you the tractions which is what we get from the Dow Jones overnight pushing into our market in here now let me tell the audience in here always follow the US market when it comes to any technology stocks because that is the big brother out there the big brother will drive the little brother in Malaysia so you look at the US see what's happening on the Nasdaq that will drive the Malaysia keep in note of that one a lot of the charts formation are very very similar too all right so this is next let's go on to the next news it's about banking stocks we know banking stocks will take probably a, a slipping role for the next quarter when i say slipping road means it's just going to be accumulating and two reasons why is because of the interest rate and property we all know the interest rate has 
uh, were likely to be cut. They did not cut the last round because of the COVID-19, so they want to keep a little bit more reserve going forward. But going forward, if the economy situation do deteriorate, as our uh, Ministry of uh, Finance keeps saying that we need to hit 6.5 or 7 GDP growth, so what are they going to do? They're going to cut interest rate. So when they cut the interest rate, that means the bank will take a hit, and that's why banking stocks, like it or not, okay, let's look at the banking stocks. Huh? Let me see. Uh, let's look at uh, public bank. Okay, and we hit the uh, stock chart and stock comment in here. You can see it is sort of, you know, not going anywhere. It has has a red pentagon, uh, no doubt, after hitting that where we got the bonus issue in here. And right now, people do trade public bank like a trading stock. In the past, it was around 20 over. It had a bonus bid and the price has adjusted in there, in here. So you may see, do I want to trade public bank or not? On a longer run, let's look at public bank. Uh, having said that, uh, the stock fundamentals in here, and you can see it is rated 2, right? Uh, the ROE has certainly dropped to 2%, as I said before. Uh, it relies a lot on the property sectors because a lot of the loans and this talk, talk about uh, sustainability is still there. It's not going to drop a lot, having said that, because the news of interest rate being priced in, it's already inside there. All right, let's move on to the next uh, topic. Ah, top glove. Supermax. Now, we all seen the uh, top glove has sort of taken a boost from the Busa bet, has taken a boost from the game stock, what we call the anti-short uh, activist visit, visit in Malaysia. No doubt, the SC has also issued a couple of things that don't follow all these telegram because sometimes they, they, they promote you. But more importantly, let's look at the chart inside in here. Now, this report is from the another big analyst house. Talk about the target price for $10.30. Let's look at Supermax where it is today. Supermax. And uh, let's look at the stock price. Okay, 690 and drop 2%. Okay, so let's look at the stock chart in here. All right, so stock chart, it definitely has the, the here's the point, very simple. Now, if you look at all this uh, rubber glove, right, you need institutional support. You need EPF to come in and buy. If you don't have the big boys buying, who left to buy? You and me, isn't it? All the retailer, but retailer all kill left and right each other, isn't it? So how is the stock going to go up? When you buy, I buy, how to go up? The institutional, the foreign funds need to come in and buy. And right now, you can see this article with the headline showing here, price of glove likely to decline from H2. That tells you, upside is very limited. As I said before, earlier on, a lot of people are rotating the stocks out from the rubber glove and into other growth sectors. That's the point. Keep that in mind. All right, let's move on to the next news. Now, now let's look at over to uh, US. Last night, as I said before, I was expecting a correction, but the correction didn't come. Instead, the market hit back up, up another 476 point. And this is because the, uh, I think they're going to agree soon, as I'm watching the CNN news in, in here, trying to follow the uh, bipartisan agreement between the, uh, the 600 million and the 1.9 trillion between the COVID uh, relief fund for the US where they're going to be dishing out 1,400 every month to uh, the, those people who need it in here and the likelihood to see more stimulus. Now, we all know during the last administration under the Democrat where we have uh, President Obama, a lot of stimulus is out there. That's why the Republicans don't like this because what it does, it will increase the debt level that we have never seen before. Now, we all know when Obama came in, Obama shot that to 17 trillion and then Trump came in, we hit 20 20 trillion, I think with Biden, easily 26 trillion. That's right, the debt is going to go higher. That what they, again, when the debt go higher, what do most people say? Buy gold, buy silver, all right? <laughs> but take note, in this next era, I will talk about it also in my master class, why we all should have a little bit and how to trade into Bitcoin. Now, the fact is uh, the Dow Jones has rose 476 points and we'll see the resistance hitting 31,000 in here. Uh, the resistance 31,000 now, this would be the second or third time if the market tonight can break through the debt 31,000, it's going to go through the roof that you'll see a lot of the green uh, movement, green policy stocks is going to move up in here. Okay, now let's look at 
the whole purpose of our Smart Robbie is to really talk about some of the lessons and, and following onwards, it's more of the educational value that I'm going to talk about. Definitely the Pentagon Guider uh, Trading Portfolio Strategy, which did very well. Uh, 2020 is up 106% in here. So far, we are still up, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, I think once we updated the chart that you see in the percentage one, uh, we are up, we, we hit our first 30% profit with J. HM. That's why JHM was the first one that we hit and uh, we, we made about uh, a very nice 30% profit on that one. Again, the entry was on 13th of January. Check it out on your uh, chart. I think if you can use the Smart Roby chart, type in JHM, you can see the entry again based on Pentagon in here. Now, let's look at the news, what we have today. Again, this is Wednesday intermediate level and of course news is going to be very positive. You can see uh, KLCI rises on early trade advance gain seems to be kept by extended MCO. Busa Malaysia post record FY 2020. Sentiment is very positive in here. T7 Global, SP Satya uh, is red, Saim Dhabi. So you can notice the news which is hogging the headline are definitely from the property sectors. That's right, property sectors. Again, going forward, what do you think? Are you bullish on property sectors going forward? Now, even today, yesterday I was talking about uh, there was another uh, lifestyle change, which maybe I'll talk about it later, else we cannot finish. <laughs> another time. Okay, let's look at some of the highlights of the intermediate trade idea that we did way back uh, from last year. Now, again, why am I keep flashing it? Because would this be some of the top trade idea for the top gainer for 2021 and i want to break it down to you uh we picked 23rd of december new high pie tech stocks uwc tech stock 23rd of december kgb 6th of january now already 32 percent uh, only revenue seems to be the underdog here not doing anywhere there is a lot of resistance selling at the old high in here with revenue spike on 6th of January, 13th of January, uh, Great Tech 21%, Front Ken 21% on 13th of January, MY Tech plus 5% 20th of January, FP Group, that was a small disappointment, 20th of January, Inari 4%, today Inari Jalan, Penta today also Jalan, okay, 27 and 27. Now do take note, those earlier batch that you see on the 23rd of December, those Jalan, so you need to give a bit of time. That's why when you go over to Smart Roby and you hit, let's say Inari, okay, let me just share with you in here, hit Inari and you go on to Trading Plan, which is just on top here, you will see the trading plan, trading period is about two weeks to two months. That is the kind of idea that I think uh, if you look back, again, case study in here, we do not constitute any buy and sell. It's just more that if you get educated, I think the potential for you to be a better investor and trader definitely will improve. And that's all the message that we want to do here is to give you the kind of training that is needed to move forward in here. Now, before we look at some of your stocks, let me just go on in here. Let's look at the case study that we have for you is no other than KGB. Okay, let's bring, let me bring out KGB stocks. Having said that, uh, yep, this one here. I want to bring up KGB stocks. Now you see here, let me just click that one. This is Mega First. It's one of the stocks which I'm going to be talking about. That's not KGB. Kellington. Now we look at Kellington, it's hitting new high. That's right. And uh, so we picked that stock uh, when? Uh, 6th of January, uh, correct? Isn't it? Six of, let me just take this off. Just trying to delete this in here. 6th of January at the, uh, or is it 13th of January? <laughs> uh, let me just check the notes here. 6th of January, that's right. 6th of January, so going back to my notes. So 6th January is where the Green Pentagon came here, but it did not break below the ATR stop loss. Now remember, right, we always try to, worst case, exit completely at the ATR stop loss. You also have this on the thing, just if I just bring it up in here, KGB, I bring it up. You can see on top of me here and putting up the stock chart and stock comment. You can see, that's right, you can see the ATR stop lot did not break. That's the worst case. Usually, if you've taken some uh, partial profit, the red pentagon is definitely there. So this market, you can see, continued to rise up because you have a very nice trend in here. Again, valuations are very, very pricey. Sometimes you think of it, uh, it doesn't make sense to buy this kind of stock when it's, how much is it? Let's look at the fundamentals behind it. All right. And you can see 
41, not as bad as the other one. This one we have about 70 plus 80 uh, PE in here. Uh, ROE of 10 uh, 10% in here. Now, going forward, as I said before, with the MCO, looking for profitability is difficult. And you can see in here, the sector average is 7.66. Having 10% is pretty good, yeah? So you can see today, uh, Kellington is again new all-time high, kicking up and going further in here. So what is the lesson learned in here? Do not, uh, do not, exit completely when you see the red pentagon but ATR stop loss if we close below you need to exit exit and then come back in here again it doesn't work all the time I have to admit that is why we call it it's um, important to understand the reason behind it by looking at the stop loss looking at the profit target and looking at the price and volume but right now do take note we have this market going up on low volume you can see here we need the volume to come in so today which is okay in my opinion because it's only 10 30 right now so we need to see volume to come in of course some of you who want to switch on to an active chart and see the same thing what i'm seeing get the uh, trading view plug in in there we just have we just completed our promotion and thank you for those of you who have joined us and it's our job is to educate you to get you to do the right thing to be a trained trader and a trained investor so looking from here you can see on the hourly basis we have a nice pull up in here uh yes on the, so what if you see the ATR stop loss on the hourly chart you don't need to exit you only want to exit on the daily meaning you go in on shorter time frame keep right that in mind huh? go in a shorter number exit on longer time frame you'll be right because why goes back to the first thing we always teach you on right run your profit run your profit so right now we can see uh the turning of the green pentagon whether this will go higher or not we will come back and look at it next week okay before we're going to get down to the list let me just come back to you on this uh stocks that we talk about and we will look at the others stocks i'm sure some of you want to look at some stocks you want me to talk about so let's look at what we have for you now definitely for the third of february episode 31 two stocks we have front can and mfcb front can again martin you already picked it earlier yes we can pick it again ah okay so let's look at mfcb let me bring that chart here and show you where it is mfcb mfcb now if you look at mfcb don't know much about them mfcb just type it in there go to stock fundamentals very easy to do hit stock fundamental here okay and there you go Ooh, rated five huh? very good huh? ah okay uh, rated five is because the ro is 15 percent pe is about 11 just pay less than one percent dividend hit that one okay mfcb okay so you can see uh mfcb websites coming up in here uh, yeah they are just famous for the cambodia project la. that's the one only la, right uh, nothing else but i do hope going forward mfcb will compete uh for some of those uh, lss4 and lss5 i i think they might be doing that so you can see this very nice trending chart that you see here uh the charts is sort of break from seven dollars in here going up higher and uh there, there are a couple of things inside there uh billion dollar club uh, asian powerhouse interim report it's actually one of the better one and i do know that even the malaysia macquarie right they are uh, uh looking to issue this on the warrant so you might not have to pay so much for for this one in here so this chart definitely is uh moving up and uh, that looking pretty good too all right okay let's see okay that's good and uh so that's the one i want to cover just on the mfcb they run front can i think is jalan jalan story lah huh? okay never mind since we have time but since we have time i want to look at your stocks okay but before that uh i want to go on to something that i have for you tonight So front can and mfcb for the stock pick for this morning in here now this is the one that we always talk about in here the setup always pay attention to narrow spread bars huh? narrow spread bar when the low volume in here that's a determination now for those of you who are joining it for the first time this is a qr code in here you can follow our tutorial very short tutorial about all the sign of strength and sign of weakness in here sos sow okay and uh this morning definitely 
we have something in treat for you, which we will plan for, is tonight 9.30 talk, which also continued from the interview that I've done with Malaysia Reserve. Is the President Biden green policy, what is it meant by KLSC Renewable? I think my team here, the research team, has done a pretty good job, and we have something exciting to share with you tonight. So right now, I'm going to be looking at some stocks that you all have in here. Okay, first question. I uh, JHM, Inari, SL West, those stocks will do well. SOP is plantation. Public bank, I think I just explained it earlier on, uh, the chart inside here. Which one is fundamental? SL West, Samadia, and CY Park. Just check the Roby rating, okay? Uh, Miss Lee in here. SL West, I think SL West has continued to... Uh, SL West has broke up higher, so you're going to see a bit of weakness coming in. And this is what I mean. Just to show you SL West. Okay, so let's look at SL West here. So SL West, yeah, so, so what I'm trying to say now is switch to a daily chart. Whether you're Jalan or not, those of you who are enthusiasts, okay, just watch for the hourly, uh, hourly. you can see here it's hourly, right? Just wait for it to turn green. When this thing turns green, it will Jalan already. Okay, so that's one of the benefits of having an active chart. Those of you who want it, you can you know think about it. Uh, Samadian, uh, they all look good. Samadian and, and SL West is the same. Now someone did ask me, how about V Solar? V Solar, not so good, ah. Huh? We saw la one, I think, uh, the one, uh, this company, uh, the chart wise, everything all got problem. One. You can see, uh, tot, 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 four cents only. So sometimes people confuse, wow, see anything solar, go and buy it. Please don't do that. Always check through the fundamental, check through the chart. You can see this one on the daily chart. Wow, you buy this one, see Kel Kel one, no. Uh, so take note, uh, this V solar is different from solar vest, uh, uh, different types of vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, technology stocks are all up. Uh, why JCY? Well, I'm going to answer uh, low here. JCY, let me just show you JCY. JCY, okay? Not JCY, since we're on this topic, let's bring up JCY here. Okay, JCY. Now, JCY came up with the, with the news uh, yesterday. Let's look at the news that we have. Uh, news, uh, international setback not reflective of the entire hard disk. What did they do? They do hard disk. International earning to triple to 151 million. That was September. Uh, recent one was this uh, setback. There was actually a set setback. They have to focus into the automotive. Now, JCY, uh, all we all know, usually been, been fo uh, more on the hard disk drive. And the hard disk drive has changed a lot the business. So you can notice uh, this stocks, has been trending down. This was the opportunity, but the market has no follow through. You can see the market break lower. So very important, if you break through the ATR stop loss, like I said before here, you gotta exit, all right? You gotta exit. No doubt, not every trade works. There's this trade on the left-hand side work, this trade didn't work, okay? So take note of that one. But usually when the market uh, opens up in here, if the market doesn't have some sort of follow through and you see red pentagon and you have this, Break down. It's time to go and move on to something else. And move now. All in all, uh, you can look at the JCY. We can put up the uh, you know what are their main kind of product in here. PE thirty two ROE. Let's look at JCY. JCY is different from JF Tech. Huh? They all have the JJ thing one. Right? So this one you can see everything is uh, look like a hard disk to me, isn't it? That one. Okay, you can watch that one. What else they have here? Uh, plants award uh, manufacturing support. Okay, you can check that one out later on. It's pretty much the similar to all the manufacturing CNC in here. It's just that they need to differentiate out and eventually that will be reflected. But again, from chart-wise, you need to see accumulation. Right now, it is what? Stage 4 distribution. We want to see accumulation. No accumulation yet. Now, if you go back to MFCB, okay, MFCB have accumulation. It's important that you get the kind of accumulation that you have. That, this is what I mean. The accumulation and then the breakout. Very, very nicely done for MFCB. Okay. Uh, uh, Comnet and Vivacom again. Okay, I was just going to look at Vivacom. Okay, I'll just get out from here. Okay, Vivacom. Uh, yeah, we have NS. Now, do take note, this kind of things, I don't like it. Every time when you go up, distribute. So, I'm also very concerned. This widespread buy in here, push up, 
can be distribution, all right? But uh, given a choice, you need to have some sort of story behind. So check out the Viva.com news behind it in here. Chart-wise, it looks pretty decent, but on the left-hand side of the chart, you can see uh, why we are a bit skeptical on that because usually I don't like to see things that is, you know, shoot straight up and then distribute. That means something very, very fishy about it, okay? Okay, that's, uh, I think that's all I have today. And uh, for those of you uh, who is coming to our Friday, that's right, our February, master, February Intake Masterclass will begin this Friday. I'm not sure whether Zach is going to be doing anything on Friday night. I suppose he's with us. And uh, for this weekend and next week, uh, we will be dedicating our commitment of time to those of you who have registered for our masterclass. If not, we still have a couple of seats more in there. And uh, you know, th this will begin your whole mentoring and coaching for the next 12 months with us where we want to prove you the right way to trade and invest in USA, in US and also knowing all the tools that we talk about